So what's the exciting new product from us here at Photospeed? Well, hello, and welcome to this Photospeed video with me, Tim Jones. And me, Vince Cater. And today we are looking at an amazing new product that we've launched. Um, and well, it's it's launched and it's replaced. It's a big upgrade, isn't yeah. it, on the, uh, upgrade, the yes. original, the Easy Books. So we've now got the spring back binders. binders. Yeah, which are these lovely books here, which look fantastic, to be honest. We've been quite blown away by the quality of them, to be well, honest. Yeah. And we've, As yeah. Aesthetically, um, and yeah, the, the actual overall build quality of the product is um, certainly improved, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Less like to mark um, and nicer to handle. They're in a variety of sizes, A5, A4, A3, but also in 8x8 and 12x12. 12 12. Yeah, yes. those are the ones next to Vince here, the, yeah. these ones here in the leather effect. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to talk through the kind of the product and how it we can use it and how we, we think best to kind of use it and some papers that we we found are kind of work best with them as well. Yeah. But you can put any papers in these books however you want. But we we're just kind of giving you a few suggestions and we'll I'll do a quick demonstration on actually how you how you kind of use them. It's pretty simple though. But before we dive into any of that, don't forget to subscribe to the Photospeed YouTube channel. Just click that subscribe button below. And also sign up to the Photospeed newsletter on photospeed.com because you'll get exclusive discounts on, well, I think it's this week, we're gonna be doing an exclusive discount on the Springback binders, as well as all the information from us here at Photospeed and all the exciting news as well. And also don't forget to download our Photospeed, The Art of Printing, the free ebook from us here at Photospeed. And you can get that from photospeed.com. So, like we said, the Springback binders come in of varying sizes. So any, anywhere from the A5, which is this one here, which I think is... It's quite cute, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. It's lovely. And they come in a blue um, kind of canvas effect, yeah. but also a black canvas effect, which is this one here. So hopefully we can see there. And also we have like a leather look as well. Yeah, the leather effect is uh, it's quite beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it does look really nice. I'm quite... I know you're quite taken with the blue, aren't you? Yeah, Max? I really like the blue. It looks classy. Um, it just, yeah, has that sort of wow factor. And it's, it's quite different as well, isn't it? When mm. you think of the albums, normally it's it's black, whether it's linen or leather. So the blue, yeah, really works quite well, I think. Mm. I think I quite like the black, because I think it would probably suit my black and whites a bit better. But, um, but yeah, they're really nice. And they're, they've got this lovely hinge on them this time as well. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the hinge allows, I think it's up to 25 sheets of paper. Yeah. Or if you're printing double-sided, up to 50 sides, which is uh, generally more than enough for, a, mm. for an album um, or portfolio. And, and as you say, it's quite easy to to use, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we've got the system. we've got the introduction of a black inner, I suppose. Yeah, the inner the inner sleeve, which with with our previous incarnation, um, it was quite hard to line the prints up. But with the, the inner black sleeve that it comes yeah. with, it just makes you know, life so much easier. The best way to actually fight, to use this, the book is to actually pop a little bit on on the table so you've yeah. got a hand free, because yeah. otherwise you're, you're kind of relying on someone else to pop the pictures in or something. Yeah. So just pop it down and then pop them in like that. That's probably the easiest way I've found. But, with prints, now these are A4 prints. Now, with the inner sleeve, I normally say to take this out and pop, just pop the prints in separately because it does a really nice job, like Vince just said, of actually lining up your page in that as well. We would probably say it's worth leaving about five mil or put in an extra five mil on your margins, be it in like Photoshop Lightroom or whatever you can, whatever you're using to print, just to allow a little bit more white space down here. So it's a bit more central. But I'm gonna do a whole video on actually how to do it and actually how to set up the templates as well for these books. Um, and once I've done them, I'm gonna save them out and then I'm gonna ask the web team to pop them on the page so you can download them and use them in Lightroom and Photoshop as well. So it's a little bit, you've got a good starting mm. point then. But once you've got the 
actual pages in the book. It's just a simple kind of maneuver of just popping them in. You can get them and in. it just drops in beautifully. Yeah, and just line them up. I use the black marks there just to yep. line them up. And there you are. And that comes as standard with every book, yeah. isn't it? It's as easy as that. Yeah. It, it is really a nice process. And the huge benefit of making your own books is that actually, if you want to take a print out, you can just take it out and change mm. as and when you want to. So if you order a book online, it's printed and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't change yeah. it. So producing your own books at home with the spring back binder just gives you so much flexibility, um, I think. And there's a whole obviously multitude of uses for the books as well. You can use them uh, for portfolios, um, for your holiday pictures. Uh, you make a whole, whole run a series of holiday pictures. Um, but also I found they're great for wedding albums. Um, I was only saying to someone the other day, um, with, with wedding photography in general, unfortunately, um, often the client just wants a USB stick with all of the images on, which is a real shame. But um, I actually photographed the wedding a couple of weeks back. Um, and I thought actually as a gift to uh, the bride and groom, I'd produce a, a book with the prints in and the wow factor um, that it produced was amazing. The USB stick, yes, the picture's nice, but when I presented them with one of the springback binders with the prints in, mm. they were absolutely blown away. And I don't think you can get that with a digital file. Um, the prints are just so important, I think. Yeah, um, I mean, it's not a, lot, not a lot of people kind of see prints anymore because everything's through Instagram and things like that. It's more important to get the USB and all that. But I think it makes a lovely, once they see the prints, it's like really a wow factor, isn't it? Oh, massively. Um, and I think it's something that will sit pride of place at home and they'll, they'll get out every now and again, sit down with their children or um, close family and, and friends and just go mm. through from time to time. I, I just think a USB stick just kind of sits there gathering dust and degrades and ultimately will probably disappear. Um, yeah. Whereas a, a, a book, of the special day is uh, it's an important memory, isn't it? And obviously, it's on our lovely fine art paper. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that, that sort of brings us nicely onto what papers mm. to use because often, often we're asked, well, what paper do I use if I'm making a book? It's a difficult question um, because actually any of our papers will work to a degree. Yeah. But I'm often more of a fan of a, of a matte paper. It just feels like mm. a traditional book. And we printed on uh, several different papers, didn't we? Yes. We used the matte ultra on this one. Um, which matte infinity well. as well. And we've got the matte infinity, which is the uh, oh, the two sixty uh, resin coated back version. Um, we've also done the art smooth Ooh. duo and, and the platinum etching. I think platinum it was etching as well. I used as well because I wanted a bit of a thicker paper. Um, but they work up to about three hundred grams. And yeah. you can the thickness of the paper does dictate to how many you can get in. On average, we can probably say you get twenty to twenty five. Yeah. It? But depending on the paper and the yeah. thickness of the paper, that could change slightly. Um, however, I'm, I'm still quite impressed with them, to be honest, especially on the uh, Mac Infinity that we've we, we've recently released. Yes. I mean, it's got that paper turn quality mm. of, of that book. It almost feels like a real heavyweight sort of magazine feel, but at the same time, it has a quality of a fine mm. art print look. Uh, with the added benefit of the way the ink lays onto the product. It's just the ink, the ink doesn't rub at all. Um, so generally on a matte paper, they're quite uh, delicate to turn. Um, but with matte infinity, it's not the case. Just add into that, true quality, I always it? say that apart from on matte infinity, I always recommend giving the prints a spray. Yes. With the protective spray we offer. Yeah, the Hahnemann Protective Spray. Yeah. I would say is um, is the go-to for any of the matte papers. Because when the pages that. go together and they're compressed in a book, what can happen is you can get a bit of ink transfer. Yeah, sort of ink rub off on the, on the yeah, backs of the pages. Yeah, as they're rubbing nice. and things. But if you spray them, they're absolutely fine. You don't see any of yeah. that. Or just use the matte infinity because it's really, like you said, it, it has that magazine feel because you've mm. got this matte front and then this slight sheen to like it at the same time. Slight sheen on the back as well, and it lays. It lays nicer, yeah, doesn't it? It does. You don't really need to score at the edges. It just sort of 
bends almost like a last step on that. Yeah, and it, it just sits really nicely, and also it's that high white point, so everything just pops off, yeah. and it looks beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's stunning. Um, yeah, a bit undecided if I prefer the matte ultra or the, the matte infinity. Difficult actually. choice. Yeah, difficult choice, but they both work well. The one thing with the matte in ultra, you can get it in a duo, so you can print double sided. Yes. Yes, that's true. And then obviously, as we said earlier, you've got 50 sides to play with, which yeah. is a, a big benefit. Um, but the we've got the Art Smooth Duo in this book here, um, which is guaranteed short grain direction as well. Yeah. So works perfectly for landscape books because it will fold lovely and neatly down your spine here. But also it's lightweight, it's yeah, uh, 210. 210 GSM. So theoretically you could probably actually get more like 30 sheets of the Art Smooth mm. Duo in the album. It's double-sided as Tim said, so 50 to 60 sides effectively. And it's got that real nice warm yeah. feel to it. Slight, just a subtle texture. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel it will work really well as a landscape it's, paper. But yeah, I mean, it's designed for bookmaking, yeah. so anything like this, it'll work perfectly. Has got that slightly off, like natural white yeah. tone Which is to nice, it. Which is nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's white. absolutely fine. Yeah. I think it's lovely. Um, it works in black and whites and colour as well. Yeah. So, yeah, really nice. Um, work, probably look really nice on your wedding, actually. Yes. It's yes. one thing because it's... Um, yeah, it looked really nice. I used to use um, smooth cotton for weddings when mm. I was doing them, but you, you kind of get that actually, same warmth value, yeah, but a lighter weight. And again, it turns a bit nicer. I think if you go for anything above sort of 280, 290, mm. it just gets a, almost a little bit too rigid for a book use. As a standalone print, 300 plus is brilliant, it's fine, but mm. in a book, I think somewhere between sort of two, 200 and 280, I would say GSM would, would be recommended. Um, and with the short grain direction, it, it just like sits a lot nicer, doesn't it? Just it just yeah. sits lovely because it's, it's just got that natural yeah. bend in the paper. Yeah, definitely. But lovely. But if you did want it something a little bit thicker, I've done a book here in the blue, just underneath here. These are all A3, I should say, um, which is a nice size, actually. Mm. It's, um, it's great. But this was the platinum etching. Yes. And... Well, it's, we always like platinum etching anyway. But yeah, it's, it's, it's luxurious. <laughs> uh, it's a 285 GSM, 25% uh, cotton rag. Mm. Um, it's got a nice white base to it. But yeah, the texture really makes the images pop out, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And it folds quite nicely, to be honest. Yeah. It's not um, kind of... It's not kind of unruly when it does fold no. as well. So yeah, it's a nice, lovely. And the prints come out really nice on it as we'd expect they would yeah um yeah i mean you're almost yeah. looking at a, sort of a coffee book table book yes now, aren't we? It's, yeah. it's getting towards that when you're going up to sort of a three or the 12 by 12 it, it just looks right doesn't it, on the table and we actually had a brief discussion earlier um that with a, a lot of education um purposes with their their final um pieces that they're entering a lot of it's now on usb sticks isn't it yeah i was trying to um a student friend of the family the other day and he was going for photography and when you go for the interview i remember coming up with a big print box from um like a clamshell print box yeah. and you'd go through your prints and talk about them but now they just hand over a usb or email a pdf beforehand it's not the same is it yeah i mean so, sticking a usb stick in and sitting down and going for the images on a screen which you have no control over of course um, or a box of prints. Surely the yeah. box of prints has got to win all I just, day long. And he said that he'd gone for a box of prints um, just to stand out. Yeah. Um, and the lecturer was over the moon. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that has a big advantage as well. And these are... It's perfect yeah. for that, isn't it? It's yeah. A, it's a great way of presenting your work in, mm. a, in, a, in a book um, because you can always create a story with the images, uh, an order, mm. Um, and it, yeah, it reflects your work a lot nicer. Yeah, uh, in book form, it, it's going back almost because people don't really print as much because yeah. of Instagram and people are sharing photos like that. And it's all digital. Everywhere. Yeah. It's all digital. Yeah, 
Um, but I guarantee when you see your prints printed and someone else sees them, it's, it's wow. And it could make the difference between getting getting the job and not. Um, yeah, I think so. It's just going that extra extra length. Yeah. Um, it makes all the difference, I think. I think we go back to weddings and things. I think you go and visit the couple and say, oh, here's my portfolio on a stick or something. And they can plug it into their TV or whatever. But if you actually turn up with a big box of prints. Yeah. Um, it quite wows them. I took that to the extreme though and went to a, a 20 by 16 print box. Wow, okay. Which, yeah, had worked. It got you the job. It got you the job. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but also, it's an opportunity to sell as well. Like I say, if, mm. if you're presenting your work in portfolio form, if you're doing a wedding gig mm. or whatever, they're going to look at that and say, oh, can I have my wedding as a, as a book as well at the end? So it is an opportunity to sell your product. It's just that um, extra product you can add on. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's they work up to yeah. at the end of the day, I think, having a book. And they so. work really nicely. I think the square would be quite nice as well yeah. for things like that. Yeah. And, or por por um, portrait sessions yeah. or anything like that. I think this would... Yeah, yeah like I say, fam really family nice. portraits. Yes. Um, yeah, all of those. Yeah, but generally, I think we're quite impressed with them. And um, once we've been doing this video and kind of playing about with them and doing some prints for them and things, yeah. it, it's just been quite nice to actually feel them and kind of actually feel the quality as well. Yeah, like you said, there is quality nice there. Quality and it's, it's something we've been waiting for for a long time to launch. Um, we've been sort of working on this now for, uh, feels like a couple of years possibly. Mm. Uh, they are UK manufactured as well. Um, they're available from stock. Uh, and there will be a, a special discount code in the video, in the uh, in the notes as well for these. Yes, yeah. Um, and also yeah. in our newsletter as well. In the newsletter. So, so yeah, we're really excited to launch yeah. it. As Tim said, there is a video coming out later on down the line with regards uh, setting up templates and, and things for the different sizes, which will then also be available on the website to download, mm. just to make things a little easier yeah. for setting up. Because theoretically, with the bigger books, obviously you're going up to A3, you could lay out more than one image on, on the pages and things as well. Yeah. Um, and you could almost use it as just a standalone book, so text and image print in there as well. Mm. Yeah, they just look um, they look, just look great, and especially, I don't know, I'm, I'm more drawn to the canvas ones myself, but the leather one does look nice as well, and it's not a, um, sometimes leather effect can not look as great, but actually this one's really nice. I've done a really nice job mm. on that. So yeah. Well, I hope that's helped you and given you an overview on these new Springback binders from Photospeed. Um, if you have any questions, don't forget to pop them in the comments or just drop us an email just at sales at photospeed.com. And we're more than happy to talk about your options and if you've got any questions about them as well, really. So on that note, we will finish there, but please don't forget to subscribe to the Photospeed YouTube channel also, don't forget to sign up to our newsletter on photospeed.com. And also, don't forget, I'm sure you all have, but download the Photospeed Art of Printing, the free ebook, which covers everything from framing, mounting, bookmaking, to turning on your printer, to color management, and everything in between. So, if you're looking to get into printing or want a bit of a refresher, please go on photospeed.com and download the Art of Printing because it will give you a really good foundation as well, but also a bit of a refresher if you need it. Also, final point, if you don't, if you don't know already, we release a new video on the Photospeed YouTube channel every Thursday at four o'clock. So really important, click that notification icon so you don't miss one of our releases. But on that note, we'll see you next Thursday. See you next Thursday.